Hello again, uh, you amateur radio operators and interested ones. I've got a new project that I'm going to uh, assemble. This is a 10 watt CW transmitter. It was about $16, $17 with free shipping, and which is very reasonable. And a uh, very nice circuit board, PCB board, very nice. Here's some parts here, a couple of toroidal transformers. Um, your resistors, capacitors, um, a little variable capacitor that they put near the crystal, across the crystal. And then there's the driver uh, IC, oscillator driver IC for the uh, single power amplifier is an IRF530. It comes with a crystal. Now, it says it's good for 5 to 9 megahertz. And it says that it comes with a crystal that is set at 7.023 megahertz. Well, I got the crystal right here, and it's almost 7 megahertz. So I think what they're trying to say is that you can take that 7 megahertz crystal, and with this little padding capacitor, you might get it to 7.023. But again, they're saying you can use any crystal six to eight megahertz so basically for ham use this is a 40 meter cw transmitter there's a place for a telegraph key here and if you um, decide not to use the crystal you can use it as a power amplifier one milliwatt in and let's take a look what we have here they're saying that you can get um, at 15 volts 12.5 watts out there's a picture of it assembled Pretty nice looking. It's uh, got a couple of toroidal transformers to it will have to wind. But you can see it says where the key input goes, the telegraph key on the top left. If you don't use that, you can run your signal generator to the input uh, just below that. And then to the right is your output. We'll assemble this, get it all put together, and uh, give you another progress report. Now I have previously assembled this 45 watt linear amplifier you may have seen it in some of my videos if you haven't check out check out my videos on the conversion of this bc 459 a transmitter and you can see i have one right here this one was built for me uh pre-built and this one i built myself right here so the difference in the size just for comparison here <laughs> there's the 10 watt and there's the 45 watt linear amplifier. This one uses two IRF 530s in push pull to, in order to get that kind of power output. So I may do a little uh, video on this one later, but if you want to see more about this 45 watt linear, check out the uh, video that uh, I'll put in the description of this video. So we'll see you soon and give you a, give you a report. We'll see what happens. Bye now.